Oh my, good morning. Welcome to Vision 2024 and welcome to Arizona. You know, as I like to call it, the Silicon Desert. And if you think about this period of time that we're in, you know, maybe the most intense period of innovation that the technology industry has ever been part of, you know, and uh, for somebody who's been in it for over 40 years, that's a pretty profound statement. 40 years, hard to say. I'm still young. I still feel good. Yeah. And we'll spend the bulk of our time today on modular systems for the AI era, Intel products. AI is making everything exciting like we haven't seen. You know, in this period of time, you know, a fundamental drive of computing, the biggest change in technology since the internet. And it's gonna reshape every aspect of our business and yours. And I simply call it, every company becomes an AI company. You know, and Intel is rooted in how can we help? How can we understand your needs? And we believe, you know, you need technology infrastructure that's scalable and flexible, built on standard platforms that enables privacy and uh, security, top-notch data quality and availability. That gives you choice competition, you know, time to value, open ecosystems, and helps you to bring new talent to keep up with this incredible pace that you're in. And fundamentally, you need tangible business outcomes. That's why we're here. You know, we don't build technology for the fun of it. It's lifting our businesses to new heights through this power of AI. On a mission to bring AI everywhere. And in particular, I'm quite excited about the next platform, you know, where before competitors ship their first chips, you know, we're launching our second. You know, Lunar Lake, 3X the AI performance. This little marvel has over 100 platform tops, 45 NPU tops alone. And before others get started, we're on to the second generation, the third generation's in fab, because we're gonna drive the AI PC category to every fingertip of your users and your customers. Next phone call, CIO, we need to start planning our upgrade cycle now, right? An upgrade cycle, 10,000 might take you know, 12 to 15 months to drive an upgrade cycle. Windows 10 ELL, EOL is roughly 18 months out. My challenge to you, leave today, call your head of IT. Ask what your AI PC upgrade refresh policy is. And if it's not underway yet, tell them to give you a plan. And if you don't get a good answer, I'll call them for you. Intel's been delivering edge platforms for many decades, and I call it the three laws, the laws of economics, the laws of physics, and the laws of the land. You know, economics, it's simply too expensive to bring your data back to the cloud. It gives you better cost control. The laws of physics draw you to the edge. And, you know, hey, we're, we're pretty profound technologists, but we ain't changing the speed of light. But maybe the third is the most powerful, the laws of the land. And we often need to keep data on-prem for privacy, regulatory, security reasons. Now, one of the things I've really become infatuated with as we've studied these you know, AI use cases, it's all about unleashing your data. And how does your, you know, this massive proprietary data sets, how can we turn it loose you know, for AI deployments? And RAG, Retrieval augmented generation is like so cool, right? It sort of is this perfect bridge, you know, between cool new LLMs and the big data repositories that you have today. And RAG becomes, I think, one of the most important workflows, you know, for corporations to take advantage of their data and generative AI, where I can take modern open source LLMs, and you know, maybe if you're really good, you're updating and retraining those. What do you think? Maybe once a week, maybe once a month? How often are you updating the LLMs right, that you have? But then you're combining it with real-time data coming through your vector databases, your streaming unstructured databases as well. And bringing both of those together in real time, we think is extraordinarily powerful. You know, when RAGD as a database encodes domain-specific, business-specific, you know, data, and then packages that together for these complex queries, 
into open standard LLM environments. Provides better real-time data. You know, combining this gives better business uh, results. And with the rise of Gen AI in the workplace, how do you apply it to your business problems and challenges? We actually have here, I've got two chatbots. Um, they're both running Llama 2, the 70 billion parameter LLM on Gaudi 2. But that left one's just a stock one. The right one's got RAG added, running a Redis vector database on Xeon 6 with performance cores and MCR memory from Micron. OK. So we, we'll try out, maybe try a prompt or two and see what kind of response Show we get. Show me something. All right. So the first one I've already got here, we're going to ask something. It's going to be something we're asking for very you know, up-to-date information. And we'll see you know, how, how these two uh, LLMs work on this. So this is the stock one. You can see we're asking for this I information from Intel Vision. I don't have specific information. Uh, yes. Yeah, sort yes. of sad. It is, it is a little sad. It is a little yeah. sad. It's not very helpful. Um, yes, I have information. I have All information right. here. Very, very <laughs> current information. And that's what you want. I mean, otherwise, you know, what, what's the point? But what about performance? Oh, performance. Right. So we've got some good news there, too. Up to 2.35 better performance on this uh, Xeon 6 and Redis solution compared to uh, the previous gen. So more users, more LLMs, the same platform. You know, and this is really, you know, very broadening the exposure of your confidential uh, information, building on what you already have, where your data already is, and enabling it in new and profound ways. But of course, this still is sort of complicated. And as we think about that, you know, we've clearly seen that uh, there's interest in how we can move these standards forward. We'll soon be launching an open platform, these reference designs and solutions that bringing us uh, together will allow us to build the uh, blueprints, you know, have the reference design available, demonstrate performance, interoperability, trustworthiness, and you know, ensure effective benchmarking and certification of these solutions as well, and providing open governance so that the entire ecosystem is moving forward you know, together. And Intel is stepping up to provide access to this, to deliver our blueprints into the marketplace, but also make it easy. And I like to think of Intel Developer Cloud as sort of the easy button. We're seeing this very rapid evolution of AI workloads. And even as accelerated computing has taken this primary role, you know, Gaudi, our accelerator solution for that, we're going to cover that in a little bit. But let's start by looking a bit more closely at uh, the Xeon portfolio. And I'm very happy to announce the next generation. Xeon 6 processors, the new brand for our next generation of both efficient core and performance core solution, Xeon 6. And with the rapid rise in computing requirements and the immense data sets that we're working with, workloads are driving trade-offs for performance, efficiency, and density. And in return, more demand for CPUs and cores that deliver better performance uh, per watt. And I'm happy to share that the next generation you know, is enabling for the first time our Xeon 6 with eCore uniquely addressing these uh, challenges. And we're seeing this uh, ability to deliver distinct advantages you know, for cloud native, you know, for volume container solutions, hyperscale uh, workloads, and delivering up to 2.7x better rack density, 2.5x performance per watt improvements. The big brother of Sierra Forest is our Xeon Gen 6 processor, formerly known as Granite Rapids, with P cores. And of course, right, you know, we have one of those wafers here too. What a surprise, right? And here's our Granite uh, Rapids uh, Intel 3 wafer, right, which will be uh, launching shortly after the Sierra Forest product. Uh, and uh, we're quite excited to be ramping this into the marketplace this year. And in our first two systems, we're going to you know, write a haiku about Intel AI solutions. So, you know, literally across three generations of Xeon, taking advantage of our latest innovations on Granite Rapids, Monument Creek memory, the highest performance DRAM you know, memory, combining that with FP4, you know, model MXFP4 capabilities, brings us clearly in range where I can now run very hefty models right on the Xeon you know, platform. From fourth gen Xeon with 16 bits up to you know, today, uh, less than 100 milliseconds, 6.4x improvement from Gen 4 to Xeon 6 on a 70 billion parameter you know, model. You know, and again, without major upgrades, run it in your data centers. Now, that's really good. But one of the other things 
that comes next to this is as we unleash the value of your data, what's the security model? What's the security profile? And this is why Intel's been working aggressively you know, to build out confidential uh, computing. Just this week, Google Cloud is announcing you know, the uh, public preview of its next-gen confidential VM services leveraging Intel TDX. So now it's sort of, how do I leverage my standard capabilities and bring modern AI models and algorithms in a trusted execution model. And Intel, can all, Intel is also enabling that with the Intel trust and attestation services, so that you have independent attestations of the security models, of the model training that's going on. And this idea of being able to extend, extend the trust domain and combine RAG with industry LLM capabilities we see great momentum and customer adoption to this model in the industry. But enterprises are also looking for cost-effective, high-performance generative AI training and inferencing environments as well. And with that, we see them turning to models like Gaudi. And Gaudi is the only benchmark alternative to the NVIDIA H100 for training LLMs. And Gaudi AI, we expect that we're just gaining momentum, and you're gonna to see today quite a number of customers coming on board as we see the acceleration of our Gaudi offerings in 24, 25, and beyond. Intel is revolutionizing building on Ethernet networking for AI fabrics for the future. And we'll be introducing an array of AI-optimized Ethernet solutions. This lineup will include cutting-edge AI NIC cards that we'll be delivering, standard NIC solutions. It will also include AI chiplets that will enable for our customers and partners in Intel Foundry. It will also include soft and hard IP through Intel Foundry, and it's building on and leveraging the work that we've done, integrating it fully into our Gaudi solutions as well. A range of soft and hard reference designs for AI connectivity, because we don't need proprietary networking for our AI solutions for the future. What do you think, is that a winner? We plan to deliver scalable reference designs, integrating hardware and software capabilities, but ensuring security, openness, confidentiality, and bringing your enterprise data to bear. And we're gonna work very closely with our ecosystem of partners to make that available. So Supermicro embarked on the, on the Gaudi journey since the very beginning. We developed an optimized AI server for Gaudi 1. We continued with Gaudi 2, and today we are working hard to bring a Gaudi 3-based solution to market. Rajshree, and Intel uh, customer number one for our Gen AI solutions. So tell us more. So here's one way we are using generative AI in the fab. One of our goals is to keep our equipment up and running all the time. So when we have an incident on a fab equipment, we want to find out if similar incidents have occurred in the past so that we can understand the root cause and resolve them. And this is so that we can get the equipment back up quickly. Fortunately, we have a huge amount of structured and unstructured data, spanning decades and millions of records documenting our operations. We can reference this massive body of data to find a resolution to get the equipment back up. However, this process is time consuming and can take hours and sometimes even days. We've started using LLM-based generative AI solutions to enhance our productivity. With just a few clicks, we can identify the root cause, resolution, and even at times bring equipment back online using an LLM-based Gen AI solution and our state-of-the-art factory automation software agent. Let's uh, bring on stage Dr. Ha, you know, the head of research for Neighbor Cloud. We uh, decided to collaborate with Intel across three uh, essential areas on Gaudi 2. This collaboration aims for the neighbor to deliver the, our the most powerful uh, LLM on high performance and cost effective, thus contributing to the vision of AI everywhere beyond our efforts for AI sovereignty. So with generative AI, enterprises are moving from pilot programs to production this year. And what they want are the use cases inside their core processes that drive productivity and help them accelerate everything they're doing. The market 
is demanding more choice for AI compute. And we're working closely with your team at Intel to bring Gaudi 3 to market. Now, and we are super excited to be adding the Gaudi 3 AI accelerators to our Powerage XE 9680 lineup this year. What we need is more Gaudi 3 in volume. That would be great. Well, Michael, I think the next shipment has arrived. Oh, wow, awesome. Uh, cool, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go fire this up in our lab. Good to see you, Pat. I'm excited to introduce the Intel Gaudi 3 AI Accelerator for the first time. So you ready? Intel Gaudi 3. You know, huge advancements in generative AI, building on the pr proven performance of Gaudi 2, delivering 4x the AI compute with BF16, 2x with FP8, uh, 2x the networking bandwidth, 1.5x the memory bandwidth for massive scale out, significant leap in performance for AI uh, training, you know, popular LLMs, multi model support, and Intel Gaudi 3 is architected from the ground up for efficient large-scale AI computing, supporting both scale-up and scale-out uh, configurations. Gaudi 3 is great on benchmarks versus the H100 on top Open Llama models, 50% faster on time to train, 50% better on inferencing, 40% better on inference power efficiency. A scalable solution with Gaudi 3 using industry standard Ethernet, like we talked about uh, before, scaling performance from one socket to a eight accelerator UBB, a single node, up to thousands of nodes and racks. One of the key questions that our AI customers are asking us is, okay, how do I deploy? And nearly all of the Gen AI developments today are moving to higher level environments, PyTorch frameworks, and other community models from Hugging Face. Industry is quickly moving away from proprietary CUDA models. Literally, a few lines of code, and you're able to be up and running with industry fa standard frameworks on power performant, efficient Gaudi infrastructure. Now, let's talk a little bit more about availability and a bit nerdier, you know, together. Intel Gaudi 3 is available to OEMs starting this quarter of uh, this year. Three different industry standard uh, form factors. The accelerator card that I was just showing off here to you. We're also adding to the uh, Gaudi family a PCIe card. And finally, our universal baseboard. Man, look at this big boy. Yeah, <laughs> I always bring Big Brother along with me. And, uh, you know, with it, you know, that range of solutions, and here, you know, up to 14.6 FP8 petaflops, you know, greater than a terabyte of HBM3E, 180, 192 native 200 gigabit Ethernet uh, connections in this uh, big boy. And with our first Gaudi uh, PCIe card, extraordinary compute density, the same capabilities as the mezzanine card, giving our customers great flexibility, 1.8 petaflops of FP8 capabilities, 128 gigabytes of uh, uh, memory in 600 watt TDP, making them an easy adjunct to a Xeon deployment, you know, being able to deliver industry standard infrastructure into your data center. And Gaudi 3 eliminates vendor lock-in with standard networking solutions in your data centers, in your cloud, and with open software environments. Best of all, best of all, you ready? Huge TCO advantages for your deployment. You know, this is a winning solution. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gaudi 3 generation. So let me bring this all together and show you a cool enterprise edge AI use case here that every single one of you here in the audience are going to relate to, email. Okay. You get hundreds of emails, especially to put on a show like Vision, it's ridiculous. So um, how can I use uh, artificial intelligence to get me through these things quicker? Yeah. So Inbox zero, the holy grail. The holy grail, yeah. I can never get to that. All right, so here we have um, Outlook, a very familiar email, email interface, and our friends at Iterate AI have developed this gen pilot service. And as soon as I click on it, 
I get a summary of what my customer wants, and not just that, a suggested response that's gonna give me all the information specific to the, to the product that the customer is asking about. I didn't have to go through spec sheets, databases, or any of that. All I need to do is hit compose right here, and I have a, a template ready to go. I can adjust maybe the pricing or whatever, you know, but uh, everything is right here ready to go in an email that everybody can relate to. Just seconds, that's pretty impressive, yeah? As I said at the start, every company is going to become an AI company. Together, we'll unleash the power of your data. We're going to accelerate your productivity. We're going to enable your workforce. We're going to vastly improve the ROI of your technology investments, all while making it more sustainable and secure. Intel, we were made for moments like this. Together with all of you, we're going to change the world again. Thank you.